today on Try This at Home, we're going to show you how to set up USB storage on a tomato router. Now the one thing you need to be sure that you've done, after you've flashed your mini build, you need to make sure that you upgrade to one that has the K26 USB in its file name. A K26 build does not have USB support, you have to use one of these. Um, over here you'll notice a USB and NAS tab in the administration page. So if you go there right now with a fresh flash, Core USB is enabled and USB 2.0 is enabled. USB storage as well as the file systems are enabled as well as automatically mount partitions and mount. So now what we're going to do is plug in a USB flash drive that I have here this would be essentially the same with uh, any larger drive or anything like that. But uh, when it's plugged in, it may take it a couple of seconds. But after it's plugged in, it will show up in the attached devices tab. See? There it is. So PNY, USB disk, blah, 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 blah. And yes, it's already mounted. So that means the router can see it already. But to make it visible to the rest of your network, you need to go to either the FTP or the file sharing tab. Now FTP obviously is file transfer protocol. Um, if you don't know what that means, you probably won't ever need to use that. So move over to the file sharing tab and you'll notice enable file sharing is no. So you can change this to one of the yes options, either no authentication or authentication required depending on if you want to have to use a username and password to access the files that are on the router's USB. So no authentication, you can leave your work group as whatever your work group is. Most of this is basically um, automated. Now, if you leave it just alone and just change that to yes, all you have to do is click save and it auto shares all USB partitions as read write so you just save it and then after everything restarts open up a file browser and navigate to your network tab I'm running Windows 10 so it's right there network you can see other devices that are connected by network now because we haven't set up a name or anything yet in the tomato configuration it just shows up as unknown but this device here has JFFS and SDA1 if we open SDA1 you'll notice look here's the video that I just released about having your phone reboot when you plug it in here's our bulletproof vest video internet based bulletproof vest video and the try this TV logo so that shows that that's what's working. That's working. Obviously, you don't know that, but those are the items that I put on that USB drive to plug it in and test it. So with that working, if you want this to come up as something other than unknown, you go to the basic tab and then identification. You'll see the router name is tomato USB, but the host name is unknown. So if you were to change this to tomato, save it, it did take it a while for the network to come back up, but after it did, now you can see you have my, the rest of my network and tomato. Well, hopefully this helps some of you out. Thanks for watching.